What's up everybody? In this video we're going to talk about the Glowforge Pro. My wife and I went down a rabbit hole once we found out about it, we're excited about it, so we decided to get one. So we received the Glowforge in November, early November. Yep, that's when we got it and we were excited. We wanted to, you know, get some money back on it, start a business with the Glowforge. And we knew that uh, Christmas was coming up. So our main focus at that time to get started was uh, starting with something simple, ornaments. Uh, you could get the SVGs on uh, Etsy. And then, uh, you know, you just pick out the wood and, and then um, it's pretty easy process to go through and get started. Um, that's the reason why we decided to go with the Glowforge. Uh, one, because the community is awesome. The Facebook groups were very helpful, answered all our questions, answered all my questions um, before we even made the order. Um, it's a big company and it seemed like it was one of the easier um, machines to use out of the other ones that we researched. And, as, and also the support that you get from both the outside community and the um you know the support from the company itself seemed like it was good so yeah that's why we decided to go with it as my wife and i got started with it we were so excited to get started you know printing stuff doing stuff with it we got a couple of uh, christmas ornaments um we did our first set of christmas ornaments i posted that on my socials and then we instantly got a couple of orders within like less than 20 minutes so people were excited about it. We were excited that, uh, you know, we were starting to get orders, even though we didn't really know how to use the machine fully yet. Um, so yeah, we were excited. We did the first print, everything went well. Second, third, and then the fourth print, the wheel broke. So yeah, that was a bummer. We had, I had already had backed up uh, on orders and I just got my machine and it just broke the the track wheel broke I'll put a picture up and yeah that sucked um, you know we were so excited to get started we we're getting orders it was like wow this machine's you know it's easy to, it was easy for us to get the first print uh, done and people wanted to order and we were ready to go and then it broke that's the whole reason why we went with the Glowforge because it's a company that's that in our eyes looked like they were backing up their uh, products and then also the online communities you know though if if you needed help or figure out how to fix something or this and that um, it's easy to find on the Glowforge um, community so yeah that's why we decided to go with the Glowforge I contacted uh, Glowforge they said don't use the machine um, and they'll send me a new one so that's what they did. They sent us a new one. We were like, man, we hope we get it before December, before Christmas, so we can do a couple more prints. I think I got it back in December, like 22nd or something like that. And, uh, you know, I called those, the customers that made orders and I was only to fulfill uh, two people out of six. And uh, the other four people, I just told them, you know, I don't have enough time uh, to get your order done. Sorry, you know, the wheel broke, yada, yada. But besides that, everything went well. I got a couple more customers' orders out. I'm still happy with it. Um, let's check what my wife thinks about it. How do you like the Glowforge? I like it. Um, we only had uh, one setback with it. Is one of the tracker wheels uh, broke maybe a couple weeks after we got it, but Glowforge was great and replaced it with a new Glowforge. So hopefully we can get started back up on our Glowforge adventure. <laughs> We both like the Glowforge, um, we're excited. It's something that we both can do, um, you know, on our time because it's at our house at the moment. 
we have a room, uh, we put it in a room and it's well ventilated. We've got it hooked up to uh, some fans. We've got an air purifier. So yeah, we don't have, the smell isn't that strong. Um, actually it's minimal smell after we installed uh, a second fan and an air purifier. So it's a little bit overboard for some other people, but if I can eliminate any of the smell um, or even almost all of it, that would be good during uh, the cutting. Um, I'm excited to do other projects. Uh, with the Glowforge. If you're interested in getting a Glowforge, I'm gonna have a link in the description. Uh, you can save anywhere from 200 to 500 bucks, I believe. And that also gets us credit if you use that link. So that'll help our channel and help our, uh, you know, hobby slash business grow. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.